I ain't flashing nobody. And nobody better not flash me. It is Tablet Tuesday, and today I'm going to show you how to do the flash effect using the PowerDirector Mobile Android app. If you've been thinking about trying this effect in one of your videos, I want you to put hashtag flash effect in the comment section below. Here we are in the PowerDirector Video Editor app. Before we get started, I want to remind you to subscribe to PowerDirector University to see great tips and tricks just like this every Tablet Tuesday. And if you subscribe, don't forget to click on the bell to get notifications every time I upload content to YouTube. It's flash time, baby. The flash effect uses videos and photos to make it seem that a person or object moves from one location to another extremely fast. This is a fun effect that can add a lot of value to your videos. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to make the flash effect for your videos. As you can see, there are some clips in the timeline. The first clip is an individual standing and then they start to run. What was done here is the clip was split right there to make it seem like the individual just disappeared off the screen. What we have in the middle, the middle clip is actually just the scene with no one in it. And then the third clip is the individual coming back into the scene. So we kind of split the clip here right where the individual is making that move to stop running. So you got your three clips and what you want to do is you record this footage using a tripod so that nothing is moving. You don't move the camera anywhere. You want everything to be as stable as possible. And you want to make sure that you do your takes quickly so that the shadows and lighting doesn't change a lot. Helps to sell it a little bit better. So what we want to do now is we want to move the playhead to the last frame of the first clip where the individual is still on the screen. And that looks great right there. So what you want to do at this point is you want to do a screen capture. So depending on the device that you have, screen captures can be taken differently. With this device, you press power and volume down at the same time. And the screen capture is then created. The next thing that we need to do is move our playhead to the position where the individual comes back into the scene and create a screen capture there. So we want to go to the first frame of the third clip and we're going to do a screen capture again. And now we're good to go. The next thing we need to do is we need to manipulate these photos and do some edits to them to make it look like there's some fast motion happening. And then we're going to bring those photos back in to create the effect. So I'm going to close this out and I'm going to go to photo director. Once in photo director, you want to tap on edit. And then you got some screenshots here. So you want to go to one of the screenshots. I'm going to go to this one here. And I'm going to tap on cut out and I'm going to zoom in on the screen. I'm going to make sure that the plus sign is selected. I'm going to go to the brush, make the brush a little bit smaller and I'm going to tap on the screen what I want to keep. And right now it's doing a pretty good job of capturing what I want to keep. But if you want to, you can make the brush smaller or larger. And then you can actually place your finger on the screen and it'll have a little zoom in if you hold your finger down. And then you can use that to kind of go over the things that you want to keep. And it doesn't have to be perfect because we're going to actually make this really blurry in a little while. And then if you want to remove any of it, you just tap on the remove. And then now you can remove any errors that you made. And it's actually pretty good there since there's going to be a lot of blur added to it. I'm not going to make everything perfect. 
click on cut or tap on cut and now we have our cutout and we want to make sure that the background is green because we're going to apply chroma key to it later so i'm going to tap on green and i'm going to tap on this check mark and next thing i need to do is add some blur to add some motion to it so i'm going to tap on the blur tool and i'm going to tap on the icon here to change it to this kind of like star thing see how it looks a lot more like see this regular blur and then we have this blur here that makes it look like it's kind of moving we're going to use that one i'm going to tap on the screen to move this so i get the right direction on the effect and i think that's pretty good there That looks pretty good. And let's change the blur amount. I think that's pretty good there. So I'm gonna tap on the check mark. And I'm gonna tap on save. And I'll tap on okay here. And I'll do the same thing with the next photo. All right, now that we have our photos, we're gonna go back into good old Power Director. Then we're gonna move our playhead to the position right where that guy was coming onto the screen again. And we're gonna tap on the overlay button. And we're gonna tap on image. We're gonna to go to Photo Director and we're going to tap on the first image that we created. Double tap that and it'll add it to the timeline right where our playhead was. So now we want to tap on that image. And the first thing we want to do is we want to remove any fades that might be on this image. So I'm going to tap on the edit icon. I'm going to tap on fade. I'm going to turn those fades off and tap on OK. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to tap on the edit icon again. And I'm going to tap on opacity. I'm doing this because I want to be able to see the image and the video behind it. So now I'm going to size up the image and I'm going to move it right in the place where the individual is. I'm going to try to place it, make it the same size about and try to place it right kind of like on top of him and a little bit after him to create the effect that the individual is moving real fast. So you can see that there, how it looks like there's a shadow of the individual kind of moving across. So now that I have that set where I want it, I'm going to move my opacity back all the way up. I'm going to tap the back button. I'm going to tap the edit icon again, and I'm going to tap on chroma key. I'll tap on the eyedropper or the color selector. I'll tap on green, tap on the color selector again, and he should disappear. Now, we want to make sure that we change the color range and the denoise to make sure that we can actually see the individual as we go across the, as it goes across the screen. So I'm going to tap back. And I'll tap on the timeline to see how it looks. And it's kind of hard to see it right now in the timeline, but I can see a little bit of that movement there. So what I want to do now is I want to place the picture right after the individual goes off the screen. So that would be right at the beginning of the next clip. So I'm going to, Move this over so that it starts at the beginning of that empty clip. Now I have to make this small because I only want that part of the image to show up for like a few seconds. So what I want to do now is tap on it. And I want to place my finger on the little edge here and change the duration by dragging this in. And I want to make it as small as it possibly can be so that now when we play this back, it's only going to be on the screen for 
like one or two frames. And you can see, you saw that little flash there of the individual. And that was him running real fast. Awesome. So now we want to do the same thing at the end to make the individual show back up on the screen. So once again, I'm going to place the playhead right where I can see the individual on the screen. And so now we play this back, should see the flash effect looking real smooth and pretty. That looks real flashy. If you decide that you like what the Power Director video editor app can do and you want to try it out, I'll leave a link in the video description. Don't forget to drop me a comment and a like down below. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again soon.